hyperlinks. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to put hyperlinks into a website using HTML for both internal and external links, and how also to add a second page to your website. In this lesson, you will describe how links work in HTML. We will distinguish the difference between external and internal links and you will practice adding external and internal links to a website. So we're first of all going to describe how links work in HTML. Now when we talk about links, now these are found in pretty much nearly every website out there. And what they do is allow the person that's using the website to click their way from page to page or in fact jump to another document or another website. Now in HTML, we actually call this a hyperlink. And when you move a mouse over one of these links, the mouse will actually turn into a little hand and that will show you that it is a hyperlink. Now this is what the code is going to look like in HTML. Starting with the first part, the HTML, A, tag defines a hyperlink. The href attribute indicates the destination, so the web address we're going to go to or the website we're going to go to. And finally the link text. Now this is the part that will be visible on the website. It's what the user needs to click on to actually go to the website. Now note, the link that we click on doesn't actually have to be a text. It could be an image or any other HTML elements. We're now going to distinguish the difference between external and internal links. Starting with external links, the official name being absolute URLs. Now these are what is a link to a page outside of the original website and will contain a full web address when we're doing the href. Some examples of these are now shown. And you can see with each of them, there is a full web address included after the href and before the page, the link text. This is opposed to internal links, which officially are called relative URLs. And what these are is a link to a page within the same website. And it's saved in the same place and is all specified without the necessary part, the HTTP part, www part. You can see below there are some examples of this now. So we've got all of them, which is just the link to the page within the website rather than needing the HTTP. I'm now going to get you to practice adding some external and internal links to a website. Now your task will be to first of all select the following file on Clash Charts. What you will need to do with this is then create yourself a copy which we showed you last week by forking it. And then you've got to complete the following tasks. Now you must start at the developing level and work your way up to mastered completing all of the tasks on the way as much as you can. In order to complete all of these tasks, you now need to go and watch the video, how to add hyperlinks in HTML. These will give you guidance on how to complete all of these tasks all the way from developing up to mastered. For developing, you're going to be adding an external link, which I've shown you which website I want you to there use there, supermarioplay.com. And for secure, you'll be creating a second page and calling it coins and giving a heading paragraph and image to that website before creating an internal link to that website. Finally, for mastered, you'll be adding an internal link from the coins page back to your index page using an image instead of text and then you're free to add any external link of your choice. When you have completed all of the tasks or as many as you can do, you will need to take a screenshot of both your code on your index and your website and your coins page and the coins page on the website. 
So to conclude, to complete this work, you must upload the following two class charts. Images of both of your pages with all the HTML code included. So that's your index page and your coins page. You must also upload images of both of your web pages. So that's the index web page and the coins web page. All four images need to be uploaded for this work to be complete.